Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to our 30 day flashpoint review of the Galaxy Note 8. And you're going, wait, wait, why are you calling it a flashpoint review? Because we are going back in time to find out exactly what we think about of the Galaxy Note 8 after 30 days. So yes, I've been using this device for quite a bit of time now, 30 full days, and I have to say, I still love the Galaxy Note 8. I said that in my initial review, and it still maintains really true here. The Galaxy Note 8 does a lot of things right. First of all, the design is solid, and it feels really comfortable to hold. That's one thing, at least for me, I do appreciate, is that this is a device that, whether I'm using the case or not using the case, I find it quite comfortable to hold and use. So that's a great thing. Also, Bixby, of course, was featured fully on the Galaxy Note 8. I've enjoyed using Bixby, using it for voice prompts to actually find certain things. I actually use Bixby now instead of Google Assistant on my device. Yes, I like Google Assistant at home, but on my phone, I use Bixby. I can go ahead and control different aspects of my device and do all that kind of fun stuff. I can also you know, use it to gain points. There's a point system, so of course, maybe that's why I do like it more, but I do appreciate what Bixby can do and its effectiveness on the device. Hopefully, Samsung expands it so I can use Bixby to control my TV um, and my other Samsung appliances, or at least uh, products that I do have in my home. So that's an interesting aspect that we'll, I'd like to see moving forward. Now, let's talk about the S Pen. S Pen is one of the biggest parts of this device. Uh, Samsung has crafted the S Pen to be more multifunctional. It's got new features. You can do a translate feature, which is great. I only use it that, that much. You can also use different features like, um, of course, the live messages to send funny messages, which is cool. Uh, but what I use the most is actually writing on the lock screen because I can easily pop my pen out and start writing and take notes and things like that. And that's a good thing for me. And that might be useful for a lot of people, but also the fact that you can use it to sign documents. It may sound silly, but if you do a lot of work and you have documentation, this thing is a lifesaver. I will just tell you, because in my day to day, that's just what I've been doing and using with this device. Now, um, the other thing to mention about the device, of course, you've got a dual camera setup with the fingerprint sensor in the uh, fingerprint sensor in the worst location possible. Um, it works well for me, but they need to change that. The camera setup is great because you take some really solid photos. Now, you can see some of the images I've taken with this. You've got the live focus, which allows you to take portrait mode photos, and it does a really good job. Low light photography is also great on this device. Well-rounded, balanced camera. I will add they need to fix certain things in the camera app. They need to fix some of the touch sensitivity, and also need to fix the, the uh, auto uh, exposure. Uh, whenever you 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 basically about to take a photo, exposure is just too high. I think it needs to balance out. So maybe some machine learning to help them out with that will help out well. But my my tip to everyone is: you're taking a photo, you just want to drop the exposure down a little bit before you snap. So that's something to, to, to take note. In terms of battery life and performance, you have a device that really handles very well. Um, I, I think the battery life here is really solid. I can go do a full work day with this. I can also basically go to bed at night and still have juice in the morning. So this is a solid device for that. You've also powered by the Snapdragon 835 processor, six gigs of RAM. In terms of doing any kind of work, this will do that quite well for you handedly uh, off the bat. I think overall, this is a solid solid device through and through. If you're looking for a smartphone that has size, heft, and performance, heft meaning just in terms of performance, but not really heavy. It's actually a super light device. Uh, the Galaxy Note 8 is the device for you. Now, before we round up, I just actually want to uh, point out something about micro uh, scratches on the display. Something Kevin the Tech Ninja had mentioned in uh, on Twitter and I think in a video or so, uh, that you will notice some micro uh, scratches on this device. Not as much as his, I don't know what he puts in his pockets. Sorry, Kevin, um, take out your loose change. But uh, Samsung, please fix that in future devices. I don't like that. That is actually something that a lot of people are uh, noticing, or at least on their devices. But overall, for me, this is my day-to-day -day driver. This is my number one phone. I don't use anything else as my number one. It's the Galaxy Note 8. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'll leave them down in the comment section of this video. Otherwise, guys, um, if you're looking to pick up the wallpaper that you see, you can go ahead and download it off our Pinterest page. It was made uh, by a friend of mine. Her name is Royal Flush. She makes some really cool um, 
does a, little cool, a lot of cool artwork, and you will find more of her wallpapers featured in my videos moving forward. So go ahead, follow her. You have her Twitter link down below, and you can see some more stuff from her. Uh, this is Thunder E saying thank you very much. Don't forget to like and share this video. Favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment.